Hey there, it's Cardinal Carl back again. You might be wondering why I'm in this doctor's office. Well, good old Cardinal Carl now has a baby Carla. I'm here to discuss the important events that happen in your life, such as having a baby or getting married, and how to submit them into Cardinal ESS. We call these life, life events. 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 Now, I know these aren't an everyday occurrence, so make sure to come back and watch this video again when the time comes. All right, ready, Carla? Let's get to it. It's important to let you know that this video is one of my longer ones, as this is an important process for you to know. So buckle up. You can pause and rewind at any time if you need to watch a step over again, or if you'd just like to hear my glorious voice. There is also a job aid available to you showing these same steps. You can find this on cardinalproject.virginia.gov. Today, we will be walking through how to submit one of the four employee self-service life events through Cardinal. As usual, first, log in by navigating to my.cardinal.virginia.gov. Have you memorized this yet? If not, why not? Once logged in, click on the Benefit Details tile on the home page. Once the Benefit Details page displays, click on the Life Events tab from the left-hand menu to continue. You will see the four options here. Today, we are going to select the newborn option and add Baby Carla. Before starting the life event, we must add the child's birthday. You can either type in the date or choose the date from the calendar. Little Carla was born on June 4, 2021. Now we can continue by clicking on Start Life Event. Notice the note under the button letting you know that the life event must be completed within 60 days of your qualifying event or you will not be eligible to change your benefit elections. This applies to all four types of life events you can submit through ESS. Now we begin the Birth Life Event Task List. On the left, you will see the task list items to complete before submitting this life event. The process is similar for the other self-service life events available. Make sure to read the welcome notice, and when you are ready, click Next. By the way, every time you click Next, it saves your work, so don't worry about it if you need to come back to it later. Since we are submitting a birth event, we must confirm that the date of birth is correct and submit. Once the birth date has been submitted, we will click Next. Each life event will have its own version of the Health Plan Acknowledgement section. Read through it, and when you are ready, click on the box to Agree and Save before continuing. Clicking Save timestamps your acknowledgement agreement. Now, let's click Next to move on to the Benefit Summary section. In the Benefit Summary section, you can review your current benefit enrollments and any additional coverage plan details. If you want to view additional details about a specific plan, click on it. Now we can see the current covered dependents. Now let's add little Carla to the benefits. You can start by clicking Next. To begin filling out little Carla's information, we'll click on Add Individual. First, let's add our name. Here we must fill in the required fields, which are the first name and last name for the dependent or beneficiary. Once complete, click Done. Then we will select the date of birth, gender, and the relationship to the employee. Now we use the National ID section to input the Social Security number. Don't worry if your baby doesn't have one yet. You can come back later and add it when you do. Start by selecting the country and you will see the ID field is changed to Social Security number. Complete and then save. The dependent beneficiary information has now been filled in. The remainder of the information like phone number and email address are optional. Let's save and continue. You will see the beneficiary listed. Click Next. To add little Carla to the benefits, click on Start My Enrollment. Here is where you will be able to make changes and or update your medical plan and flexible spending selections. For this example, we are only going to update the Medical Benefit Plan selection. Click on the Medical tile.
To add the dependent to the medical plan benefit selection, we must check the box next to the latest dependent we just added. Once the dependent is selected, the medical plan options automatically update. When we are done selecting our benefit plan, we will click Done. It automatically leaves your selection as your previous selection. Once finished updating the benefit plan options, click Submit Enrollment. After submitting your benefit enrollments, you will receive a benefits alert pop-up. To continue and finalize your enrollment, click Done. You'll see the status of the enrollment changed from Pending Review to Submitted. Click Next to continue. On the summary page, we can see the status of each step associated with this life event. If at any point you skipped over or missed any required information, this summary page will allow you to return to any specific step in the process. To finalize the life event, click Complete. You should be all set! A notification will be sent to your Agency Benefits Administrator with the information relating to the life event you have created. When adding a newborn, a photocopy of the birth certificate must be provided to your Agency Benefits Administrator. The Agency Benefits Administrator will evaluate the changes made and any impacts the life event created will have on benefits enrollments for the employee. Once all the information necessary has been submitted and the life event has been approved, you will see the information reflected on your employee record the following day. And there it is! Little Carla has now been added to the benefits. You now know how to begin a life event, complete all the life event tasks, and enroll a new dependent onto your insurance plan. Thanks for watching! I will see you again soon showing you even more amazing functionality in Cardinal ESS.